Okay, so we're going to start a little bit different this week. Yeah. So, we're going to have to watch what I do quite closely, okay? So this is a, a dribble, agility test, yeah? But we're going to add a finish in at the end, yeah? So you'll dribble down from white to white, round the white cone, up to the yellow cone, down to the orange, around, back to yellow, down to blue, and then up and explode in. Okay, I think you've got that, I'd like to walk it through again. Yeah, that's right. So you'll go to white, then diagonally to yellow, then to orange, then back to yellow, then down to there, then up, and into finish. Okay? What we're going to be looking for is we're dribbling, so we're not running with the ball. Yeah, so that's got to be in close to your feet. Yeah? And then can we get nice sharp turns on the cones? Good. Round that orange, back up to yellow. Down to blue. Round, and then explode to the goal to finish. Now, what I want you to do, is I want you to keep this ball on one side of the cone. Okay, so we're down here. Round. Then I'm round and I'm in a straight line, yeah? Then we're round, and we're in a straight line again. And then we're round, straight line to this cone, and then when we're up here, exploding to finish, look at the goal, finish, okay? Try and keep in straighter lines. That way we'll get there quicker than weaving in and out, okay? Right, off you go. Return that. Good. And now this is the crucial bit. Before we hit this cone here, I've dribbled up. That's my set touch. Look at the goal. Finish. Okay. Right, go when you're ready. That's much better. Good. Down to that blue, round it. Now think about this touch. That's the one, better. Just on these ones here, you'll get into yellow, and then what you're doing is, you're coming back across here, and round the orange, and then you're going back across, and around the yellow. You see how I've made like a figure of eight in the middle? Yeah? It shouldn't be a figure of eight. It should be straight line up, Round, straight line down, round, straight line up, and then straight line to the left. Okay? Right, go when you're ready. Good. Sit now round, that's it, straight line. Better. Then straight line back up. Round, down to blue. Now this is where the technique comes in. Good. Right, twice more, three for me. Two more times. 
Yeah, that good quality though, just like that one. Yeah, go. Good, straight line. Better. Good touch. Finish. Right, last one through. Can you find a corner this time? Yeah? Good. Good on that dribbling. Nice tight turns, like it. Just lent back, didn't you? This time, what I want to say is instead of powering, yeah, I want to go past here, yeah, then set, and then pass it. Okay? Not so focused on hitting it hard, just focus on that accurate setting, yeah? Just a firm pass into a side of the goal. Ready? Yeah. Go! Good. That's it. Really good. Nice turn, like that. Yes. Much better. We're going to work on your movement. Yeah. So it's not a difficult, not a difficult drill. What's going to happen here? This, this again. This pole's acting as my defender. Yeah. So you're going to receive a pass from there, knock it back, and then you're going to go inside, and the ball's going to go outside. Okay. So. You're not back to me. You'll go inside and the ball's going to be slipped down the outside there to the defender. And then you'll go through to finish. Well, we're just going to be working on this one for now. Um, right, so why do you think I'm getting you to go that way when the ball's going that way? Yeah, it's all about what this defender would be doing. Now, if if I, if you. Yeah, and then I've gone this way. But as well, if if I go that way and follow the ball, it's now just a straight race between me and this defender. Yeah. yeah. And whoever gets there first gets there. Whereas if I go this way and I go inside, that will allow me to come across. If the defender goes that way with the ball, we're still racing, but I'm moving diagonally, which will allow me when we get to the ball to get my body across the defender. Yeah. Yeah. And then this week, I'm not putting any restrictions on your finish, except for put the poles in the goal. So you just to separate the goal into first. Yeah. So you're just trying trying to avoid that middle point. That's all. So I'm not putting any restrictions on how many touches. I'm not putting any restrictions on what foot you have to use. Nothing. I just want you to finish however comes naturally to you, and see whether you can uh, can assess the situation and pick the right finish and then all i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be telling you whether i think you picked the right finish or not that's it okay so this is a, this is more about your decision making this week rather than me telling you everything you should be doing just on a pitch i can't be in the air okay so you know what you're doing Good movement and a, a wonderful finish. You definitely think so I've got it. Good touch. And a good finish, I like that. Nothing wrong with that, I like the power. Nice little sharp movement. You're just into the ball really well. The thing I'm looking for, we had five and three went down the middle. Okay? And it's always it's always the ones where you just hit the ball. Okay? Remember we're looking now 
for a finish in that shot. Yeah? And we're in on goal with a finish. So we should be using inside of the foot. Yeah? Pass it. Firm pass. Remember that's all a, that's all a finish is, just a firm pass into the corner. Okay? What was really impressive there though is every single one of them you had that glance at the goal. Really good. Ready? Better. See, there's less power on that shot, but the keeper is less likely to save that than if you blast it out. Okay. That's a great finish. Good, you adjusted well to that because the pass had nothing on it. Wonderful, absolutely superb. One more on this round. That's a great finish. And why do you think this week I've took the restrictions away on your finishing? Make your own decisions. And do you know what I don't want to do? I don't want to overcoach you. Okay? I want you to use your own instincts. Yeah? All we've done over the last three weeks is just build up your decision making in different situations. Now those have had to be restricted to make sure that we're getting consistency and we're getting the right decision in the right area. But now, now we've worked on those little bits and we've just tweaked your finishing slightly. Yeah? Now we're going to start doing a lot more independent work with less restrictions so you can make decisions. And then like I said, I'm just here to tell you whether that decision is right or not. Most of the time you'll be able to tell because if it finds the bottom corner, it's the right decision. Yeah? If we're missing the target, then obviously it wasn't the right decision. Yeah? Right, let's move over and do it on that side. No, I'm not putting any restriction on. You can hit it with whatever foot feels natural. No, you're going inside again. So the pass back to me. You go in there and the ball will be fed this side. Yeah? Good. Great finish. Okay. That first one's always the hardest. Unlucky, but but the right decision. If you tried to go round that ball to get it onto your right foot, you'd have been tackled. Yeah, exactly. Because you was already too close to the ball to take that step round. So the decision was really good. Play that one again. Play that one again. Remember, your pass back to me needs to be quality. It needs to allow me to play that first time pass. Good defender. Good defender. That's what you want from me. Good touch. Really good touch inside. I like that. Although it went down the middle, it's got height. So I don't mind that so much. Good touch. Think wrong with any of those shot selections. Because yeah. although you would think that a lot of these are going to be left footed, and you were probably thinking that I'm looking for using that left foot, the ones where you went round the ball and used your right foot was probably the right decision. Because of the angle that you were approaching the ball at, it was just more <laughs> natural to go round the ball than try and, and hit it left footed. like that. That that is that is a perfect example of what I just said. 
Just because of the angle you're approaching the ball at, that is an easier finish than going with your left foot. I love that finish. I love the fact that you just passed that into that corner. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Good. Shot selection again. Really good. Couldn't have gone round that ball. Shot selection. Good. Just open the body up a little bit more. Put my keeper side. Yeah. Last round. Good finish, really good finish. The thing I would say on that one is you could have got that shot away half a second quicker on your left foot. But it was a really intelligent finish when you got there because the angle was so tight, you've just gone outside of the right foot, in at that near post. Haven't tried to do anything extravagant and find that far corner, really good. Yeah, that one just fell on your right foot because the ball almost come back across you. Good evening. Neil. Again, nothing wrong with the shot selection. We just didn't get the, the whip. Yeah. It was a little bit too straight. We almost wasn't round the ball enough. Dude, is this your bag for training? Yeah, I've got to come back up anyway. Do you want to come and... Kayden, that is a really good finish. Oh, that's unlucky. I like the idea there, because the angle was very tight. Same drill, different movement. Okay. So instead of going inside off the pole, you're going to go outside. And the ball's going to be fed inside. So on this on this one here, you'll knock back, go here, ball will be coming. Yeah, it's just a different run. You know, because you did the step over the, 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 the dummy, you was completely off balance to take that shot. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the with with, with the dummy step over then take the set touch to settle it and, and settle your feet back again okay right finish don't finish that one good A shot selection there, that firm pass into the corner, yeah? Because you, you, we've gone for that power shot again, okay? Good, that other ball's really played a part there. That's really unlucky. That's it, walk it back in, get your breath back. All I want to see different is when you play this back to me, yeah, you're playing back and you're going in and running. Now look where my head's facing, yeah, and I'm waiting for the ball. Yeah. This is just a little drop off, so I want you to play into me, keep looking at me, and drop off, and then we're in. And then when I've played the pass, then we can start thinking about the goal because we need to know where the ball is first and whether that pass has quality on it or whether you're going to have to come in the tree or whether it's going over there or whether it takes a deflection off this really good defender again. 
okay? So there's always our main, just little drop off and then we're in, okay? Better. Yeah, I tell you what else, you almost didn't make a decision there about where you wanted to go. It's like you just kept sorting your feet out and then thought eventually, I'll just have to call to go. That's fine. Just need to make those decisions a little bit quicker, that's all it is. That's better movement. Good finish. I'll pass in. Eyes on me. The ball. Drop away, drop away, drop away. When I go to play, when I've played the pass, then we're in. That's the quick movement. And then we're looking for them firm passes into them corners. Yep. Yes, perfect. Yeah, you want this pass back to me wants to be either back back to my feet now or in front of me so I can come on and yep. play that pass. If it's, if it's over here, I have to go and retrieve and then that's when you'll have to slow your run down even more. That's the one. Good, regained your balance really quickly. And what I would like to say on those ones is instead of stepping over the ball, take that touch with your left foot and keep going towards that corner, okay? That would, that would have definitely gone in, so we're, we're giving you the goal there. Where do you think you could have just rolled that in? Oh. Which one? one. Yeah, you, no, yeah, you could have. That's not the one I would have chose though. Top. Just the, okay. the near post. If the ball's in that straight line and you've come onto it perfectly straight, just firm pass into that corner. Yeah, like that. Let's run it through again. Does it feel like we're getting there? You'll find when we go on this side that the finishes will be really easy. Why do you think it's more difficult for you on this side going that way? Your ball yes. coming inside, on this I side. Can come in the, go around the yeah, because you're right footed. See now, if I was to play this movement off this pole, yeah, I'd knock back. I'm in here. The ball's coming down here. It's naturally on my right foot. Yeah. Whereas this one. This one's on your left foot naturally because you'll play back and go in here and the ball's stuck in here. So then you can come in on your left foot and play. I'm not saying always use your left, what I'm saying is to try and use the foot that the ball's closest to. Yeah. And on that, like I said, on those ones where we're, we're stepping over the ball, yeah, we want to get some contact with that ball, so use that left foot. Or the, even the outside of the rope. Yeah, just something to keep us driving towards that goal. But the minute you step over that ball, if it slows down, you took yourself out of the game. You're not in control of the ball now. Okay. Ready? Good. Little quick foot readjustment. Really good. Excellent. Superb, I love that. Movement's getting a lot better here as well. Finish.
It's a good finish still, you did well to hit the target stretching. Just take an extra step, so you're not stretching. That's all it is. Yes! Where are you going? Down this way. Excellent. Good touch. Didn't take a glance at all. Nope, that's why. Well, you're recognising these now, so that's really good. Finish. Wow. Great finish. Absolutely superb. Why do you think I like that finish so much? So I went on to my left, it was a good pass for me. Yeah, it was. But you finished it at, at match speed, and that's yeah. what I'm always looking for. Yeah? There's no goalkeeper, so you had no pressure there, so you could have just took a touch or gone round it and just rolled it in. But you finished it like it's a game, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah? Finish. Excellent. Wow. What a round that was. So you've set your own standard now. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah, but remember those, those aren't acting as a keeper today. So, if you hit those poles, that's, that's as good as finding the corner, because we're looking for those thirds. So hitting those poles, and it, if it hits the pole and comes out, that's fine. Because I'm still counting that as going in, because it's the area that we're trying to hit. Great finish. Oh, just snatched at that one a little. Could have, got, could have gone around them doing it. Yeah, you could have, yeah. But it was a, a decent effort for what you tried. Just the quick snapshot there, it's not a bad effort at all. Great finish. I'm really impressed with how that, how quick that left foot's developed. What did you forget to do? There you go. We're going to work on your weight of pass. So, this is a one-to-one -one session. So you haven't got anyone to pass to. Yeah? So you're going to be playing to me. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, you're going to start here, central with the balls. I'm going to start on this pole here and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little movement in between the gate and then you're going to play me a pass, okay? Now what I'm looking for is if that pass is behind me so I have to retrieve it, I'm going to stop, okay? If that pass is over here and gets to those cones before I can finish it, then I'm going to stop, okay? So now we're looking at, we're ha at you playing how hard my pass is. Yeah, and I'm looking at direction and I'm looking at pass selection. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at quite a lot of things, yeah? It's not about whether I finish it or not. It's about whether you give me the opportunity to finish it, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because remember, this is this is about you. This isn't about whether I'm, I'm, I'm finishing the chances or not. It's about whether you're giving me, or in this scenario, I'm acting as a teammate of yours, yeah. the opportunity to score, yeah? So, thinking about passing, now, if I'm going to be making this movement across here, when should you play the pass? When you've just gone past the pole? Yeah, that's that, exactly right. When I get in line with this pole, that's when you should be playing that pass. So as I'm coming here, yeah, you can pass. Okay? And then we're looking at good weight of pass. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you ready? Yep. Yeah. 
looks like a really simple pass. But it's not. The weight has got to be right. Now, I'm obviously, I'm not sprinting, obviously. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Slightly heavier, but not bad. Now would be the opportunity just to take a touch out my feet. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's the one. That's the pass. Two pairs. You didn't know what to do then? Didn't know what to do then. I was, I was deciding whether that was behind me or not. But the fact that I could just tow it in front, it almost let you off. Still, a little bit more weight on the pass. Yeah. Okay? That's better. That only saves it. Yeah, the weight. So remember, during this session especially, we're not making it all about scoring goals. We're trying to develop your all-round game in a sort of condensed period. Like we've done a bit of dribbling. Yeah, that was the first one. Done a little bit of dribbling, which is another skill. Then we've worked on finishing, movement, and then now we're working on your weight of pass. It's your all-round game. Yeah, because remember what I said to you last week about there's more now to be in a footballer in any position than just scoring goals. Yeah. Right. Right. We'll run that through again. This time. Can you play every pass? Yeah. So I don't have to take a touch. And now I'm gonna put a mark I'm gonna put a little marker in for you. That's where your pass should be passed. So you're looking. Wait, like, just do it now without me running. Play that pass, pass that cone. Yeah, just like that. allow me now to not have to take a touch. Okay? Remember when I hit that pole you play, you're looking at past those cones, but out of the box. It's a narrow window to play in, so it's not an easy pass. If you want to, remember, you can put some angle on the pass to give yourself a, a, a wider distance. Okay? You ready? Really good. Really good. Yeah, good. Yeah, that one, you just held it slightly. That could be the glass though. But the weight of pass when it left your foot. I can tell it was really good. Good. Again, that one, just a little bit. Don't be afraid to just hit it a little bit more. Okay? That's the one. Start anywhere here. Anywhere in front of these cones, if you like. Yeah? Then I'm going to call two colours. Yeah, really quick. Yeah, so it's going to be like orange white. Yeah, and you have to go and touch those cones as quick as you can. Then receive a pass off me. Turn towards goal and have a shot. This finish, it, this touch in here, it's got to be in playing distance, but it's got to get you going towards that goal. Okay, we can't be killing it in front and then having to turn. Okay. Remember, we're looking for a nice, quick touches on those cones. Okay. Ready? Blue, yellow. That's it, then you receive. Okay. Keep your back to the goal at all times. Okay. So it's blue, yellow, and then I'm ready to receive. So what happened there was you turned it yellow, so that's why when I passed it in, it went past. Okay. 
to remember, back to goal at all times. So we're in blue, yellow, and then I'm in here to feet. Okay? White, blue. Good turn. Good finish. Orange, blue. Good. Finish. Love it. Love the quick movement as well. Orange, yellow. That's it then. Good. Ready to receive. Good. Adjusted well to that. Let's try and get a touch on the ball. Okay. Just receive on that back foot and turn out. Yellow, orange. Good, then ready to receive. That's better. Good. That's good. Take a breather there. See how difficult it is when you're making so many decisions in a short space of time. Because you're thinking about first cone, then you're thinking about second cone, and then you need to switch really quickly and think about receiving. Then after we've received, then we think of the goal. But the best way of doing this is just break it down into parts. Yeah, so if I've said yellow, blue, then you yellow, okay, blue. Okay. Then my first touch, is my first touch right? Yes. Then we'll glance at the goal and then we'll finish, yeah? It's about trying to make them decisions quickly, but not all at the same time. Ready? Orange, white. Good, then you're ready to receive. That's better. Finish. Much better. White, yellow. Finish. Orange, yellow. Good, and a great finish. Little Dennis Burkamp on that defender there, that's all that was. Blue, white. Finish. So much better, so much better. Yeah, really good, another round like that. Yeah, keep, keep that up, up what you was doing just there. Nice quick decisions, but all individual decisions. Orange, white. That's it, good, then you're ready to receive. Great play, unlucky. Great bit of play. Blue, yellow. Oh, defender gifted it to you. White, white. Good. Yeah. They're just in there for that extra little bit of distraction. Yeah. Yellow, blue. Great touch. And the finish. Okay, now, you, you're only going to touch the cone with your feet, so you don't have to get down low, just touch it with your foot, okay? So what I want to see, is I want to see the upper body staying up nice and straight, yeah? So then you're in, touch, touch, and I'm in, receive. So that upper body's always up, nice and straight, yeah? So then we can take the ball wherever we need to go, yeah? Whereas if I'm dipped down here and I'm receiving, then I can only go certain ways because I've got my feet back. Yeah. So if I've got upper bodies up here, that allows me to just touch and get those feet back set. Touch, get those feet back set. Okay. Blue white. 
That's good. Just lent back slightly. And you slightly though because it clipped the bar. Orange blue. That's good. That's really good body shape. That's it, you round him. And you finished it good. Blue, yellow. Good, they're ready to receive. Unlucky that, really unlucky on the left foot. Yellow, orange. Good touches. Good. Okay, stand back when you was receiving. Give you a couple of minutes to get your breath back. Right, now close your eyes. Right, where's the orange cone? Where's the blue? Where's the yellow? Where's the white? Okay, now open your eyes. Yeah, so you know where they are. Yeah, so what can you be looking at now when you're going to touch the cone instead of looking at the cone? Yeah. Yeah, because that's where the ball's coming from. Yeah, you know where they are. Yeah. I'm not looking for you to, you don't have to, I'm not going to penalise you for not touching the actual cone, yeah? Just here's fine, there's fine, okay? Yeah? And you can keep, you can keep your eyes locked on there. Because that's where the ball's going to be coming from. And then you'll be able to, you'll find that you'll be able to make a better first touch decision, okay? White, yellow. Eyes on me. Better. Good touch. Oh, unlucky. For my angle for a second then, it looked like it had gone in. That's one of them where the crowd cheers in that stand. White, orange. Good touches. And I love that finish. It's been a lot more of them today. Yeah. The firm passes into the corner. Okay, you know where they are? Yeah? Blue, white. Really good. Finish. Right, last ball of the day if we finish on a goal. Yeah? Orange, white. Eyes on me. Good, receive. Finish. thing what have we worked on we've worked on our movement and the way to pass it yeah we have okay what was the first thing we did Keep going around and catch a dribble dribbling and then dribbling to shoot on goal dribbling to finish yeah then what did we do then we did pass back to where the opposite way the ball is going and shoot. That's it, yeah, in and out. Out to in or into out, yeah? So your movement's opposite to the where the pass is going to be going. So if it's the pass is slipped down the outside, your movement's inside. If the pass is slipped down the inside, your movement's outside. Yeah, which is all really good, yeah? And then, what was the next thing? Next thing we did it on the other side, then we... And then we had this one right. No, we did one before that. Oh yeah, um, the weight of passing. Weight of passing, yeah. Which was what we were looking for. What were we looking for with that weight of pass? What are you looking to give me as the forward? Um, to make sure it's in front of you. Yeah, an opportunity to yeah. score. That's all you're looking for with that pass. Just give me an opportunity to score. Yeah, give your teammates the opportunity to get a shot off. Yeah? Which most of those passes did. So we took a while and you'll find that you have to do that because you have to get used to the surface that you're playing on. Yeah, because the length of grass or whether you're slightly uphill, slightly downhill. But your weight of pass was actually really good. Yeah. And then what was this last one that we worked on? Um, so you touched two cones that you said, keep looking at you, and then you see the pass. And you take one touch. Yeah. So that's working on we're quick feet in here. Yeah. yeah? And it's just quick little movements that the better we get at, the more we can move defenders around before receiving passes to finish on goal. Yeah. 
and then the pole within the goal. What has that done to the goal? Um, Remember I said into third. into third. And what's the main third that we're trying to miss? Um, middle. Yeah, we don't want to hit middle third. Yeah, absolutely superb.